When styling a model, the choices you make for the color, stickers, and background will determine the final feel of the model. For this model, I want to make it feel like a realistic dinosaur, so I'll use only muted colors and place it in a forest scene. To start, I'll click the bucket icon and select the forest green color here to use as a base for the dinosaur. I'll apply it to the body with a click, then move on to add detail, starting with the feet. I'll switch the color to black, select the roller, and color the bottoms of the legs to represent feet. For the spines, I'll start by using the roller to color the top faces of each spine black. Then add more detail by switching to the paint panel and selecting the black color. I'll leave it set to the smallest width and start by adding waves to both sides of each spine. With that done, I'll increase the width slightly and paint a line between the spines along the back of the dinosaur. To finish the dinosaur, I still need to color the mouth as well as add eyes and a background. Since the mouth is just coloring, I'll start with that. I'll switch back to the bucket panel once again, then change the view to look at the inside of the mouth. I'll color the top and rear faces red, then switch to a pink color and select the bottom faces to add a tongue. Next, I'll click the stickers button and find a pair of eyes that I like. I'll add them to the flat faces on the head above the mouth. And once they're both in place, I'll close the panel and rotate the eyes to look more natural. The final step is to add a background. So I'll click the Scenes button and select the Forest. I'll scale and move the dinosaur so that it matches the scene, and I'm done.